Good evening, this is Sarah Lebrek and you're watching the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued two edicts for this year. Edict 49 allows companies with foreign capital to undertake some commercial activities outlined in a list attached to the edict, with an ownership rate of 100%. Meanwhile, Edict 50 allows companies with foreign capital to undertake some commercial activities highlighted in a list attached to the edict with 49% ownership. The two edicts will be subject to the provisions of Article A of the Commercial Companies Law, promulgated by Decree Law 21 of 2001. In a message to the world, marking the UN World Habitat Day today, celebrated this year under the slogan Housing in the Center, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa urged the international community to go faster with the enactment of formally agreed sustainable development initiatives, ensuring that focus should be given to the most needy communities. He called on the world to continue a collective human effort to improve living conditions of dwellers of war-torn areas. He added that the situation would be seriously worse if the international community retreated from taking necessary steps to find effective cooperative mechanisms to stop bloodshed, safe lives, and direct resources and efforts towards achieving a secure and sustainable life for all human beings. He stressed the importance of adopting effective visions and policies to counter development challenges, particularly conflicts and terrorism. He called on the international community to work harder for a world free from threats through the adoption of sustainable development programs meant to achieve humankind's aspirations. The Premier reiterated that footage of uh, painful scenes of the displaced migrants fleeing areas of conflicts across the borders must hurt human conscience and urge all human beings to exert their best efforts to help these people live in security and stability. He asserted that the World Habitat Day is an occasion to highlight how developed, advanced and fair the world could evenly be if human wills and efforts were united in terms of construction and reconstruction for the good and benefit of all humanity. He pointed out that the United Nations adoption of the housing in the center as a slogan for this year's World Habitat Day cast on the world a responsibility to move forward for further cooperation to face the unfortunate situation in some regional countries in terms of chaos led to the displacement of thousands of families deprived of their rights to live or to life in dignity and security. He also asserted that Bahrain has worked very early on the issue of housing and set plans and allocated budgets in order to provide adequate housing for Bahraini citizens. He said it was one of the pioneers in the launching, or the launching of housing projects in the region in the 60s to create integrated services in modern cities. He commended the government of Bahrain in light of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who made the housing issue a focal point by allocating budgets to finance the construction of many housing projects, and work is still continuing to build more cities in various governance. He added that Bahrain joins all national efforts with deep belief that the protection of mankind and implementation of stability, security and prosperity of all nations depends to a large extent on a collective human effort. The Premier pointed that the celebration of World Habitat Day coincides this year with the celebration of Bahrain of granting former UN Habitat Program Executive Director Dr. Anna Tibaijuka at the United Nations headquarters in New York in recognition of her efforts and large contributions to support the efforts of countries in terms of sustainable urban development. He described the Khalifa bin Salman Habitat Award as, a reflecting, as reflecting Bahrain's strong commitment to back global development efforts. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, instructed to start preparations for the launching of the second edition of the Khaled bin Hamad Award for Graduation Projects Forum. It is aimed at Bahrain-based universities, including all disciplines of engineering and information technology. Scheduled to start in December, the event is organized by the University of Bahrain. His Highness affirmed that this award translates His Majesty the King's instructions of supporting Bahraini youth, especially in education, as this will help improve the quality of university graduates who play a key role in the continuing development of the nation. Sheikh Khalid noted that the wise leadership always or has always been keen in embracing the youth as they are the driving force of the development process in Bahrain and are a key component of the reform program launched by His Majesty the King. He further stressed the need of keeping pace with the rapid international developments in education. 
He added that the main goal from this award is to give the youth the opportunity in scientific innovation and contribute in having a new generation of youth equipped with advanced education. He lauded the efforts of the University of Bahrain and its president, Dr. Riyad Hamza, in organizing the award, wishing them all success.